So in Shanghai, there's been some controversy because there's a shopping mall that's actually created extra large parking spaces for women. And this is basically because the people who created these parking spaces say women can't drive, they need the extra big spaces to get in. Chinese netizens are outraged, they're saying it's discriminatory, they're saying like this is an unfair bias that women can't drive. But I think、uh, we could take a different view. Yeah, I, I think that's really awesome because it's so expensive to get a car parking、yeah. spot in China. And then if you can get four of these, For free, just for being a terrible driver. Why not? I'm、okay. not going to drive. No,、properly. no, not for being a terrible driver. For being a woman. And、yeah. okay, yes, it's discriminatory. But you know, like women get a tough trot a lot of the time in China.、Yeah. Finally, something that's a bonus. The、I、thing is, there will be men in wigs and and fake get up trying to get these car parking spots. Speaking of、sense. women, yes, <laughs> I'm going to go on a yes, bit of a rant. The ladies.、Here. So a、um, a lady was、uh, recently found in an internet cafe in southern China.、Um, Giving birth to her child in a toilet,、mm. but the thing is, immediately after she gave birth, she went back to her computer and continued doing what she was doing. Oh, well, she had to update her status. Just had a baby. <laughs> Lols. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> babes. <laughs> But that's that's incredible because suggestions for names. Well, the thing is, thing. you know,、uh, internet addiction is massive in China.、Yeah. In two thousand and eight, I believe, China was the first country in the entire world to classify internet. Addiction as an actual addiction. Yeah, quite amazing when you get on the Beijing subway and literally everyone is there on their phones staring at it. Yeah, that's good. That's because they have 4G. That's because they have 4G. They have really good internet. Maybe yeah, exactly. We, maybe we need worse internet in China. Yeah, go、so、to we, London. Yeah, like、yeah. The, there's no signal in the subway. Yeah, yeah. They yeah they, but they've got their top hat and their monocle out. Like it must、yeah. be tougher. In, must be a lot tougher in London. Sure. <laughs> so a professor at a university in Wuhan was teaching a class about sort of the differences between the East and the West. And he wanted to demonstrate different ideas about hierarchy by lying down the door of his classroom and getting his students to step over him as they left the classroom. And this, obviously, like in Chinese culture, teachers are very revered; they're very、mm. respected. And I mean, they're obviously respected in the West as well. But、uh, China, being a high-context society with、um, quite a strict hierarchical sure, system, sure. Th- this was quite radical. And, and a lot of students couldn't handle it. They, they were trying to leave by other exits. They were trying to do different things. Yeah, I would imagine if this happened in the West,、um, the teacher might go home with a couple broken ribs. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I find that. So,、really、teacher, I, I played a bit of football today. <laughs> I just got to wipe it off. Got a bit of astroturf on my soles. Yeah. Yes. So,、uh, in other news. There's、uh, been a new use for sex dolls.、Mm-hmm. Recently, a gentleman in China went and bought a child-sized love doll in order to fulfil his longing for a daughter,、mm-hmm. which is it's admirable. It's- Admirable or just really creepy. The thing that disturbs me most about this story is that a child-sized sex doll exists. Maybe they just like petite ladies. Maybe like, anatomically really, correct really, petite, really petite ladies. Dolls. Maybe they just like dolls. Really. He actually looks quite good with his. With his, with his little sex fake doll daughter. sex doll daughter.、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's going shopping with her. He's in a calf, and、yeah. they're both doing the hordan. Yeah, I don't know what Freud would say about that, but I think it's actually a bit of a phenomenon. A lot of migrant workers who live in big cities, away from their families,、uh, there's a bit of a, a trend of getting sex dolls, not so much for sex, but for companionship. You think you'd get a cat. Really, or a coworker, or a coworker. <laughs> you know, female, male, it doesn't、yeah. matter. They're alive. But it does sort of indicate that there is this sort of within Chinese society that there is a there is a group of people who feel quite disconnected. Social divide. Yeah, there's a social、yeah. divide, but also just loneliness, which is really very sad that you kind of have to turn to an inanimate object for for comfort. That's why you give birth in an internet cafe. Yeah, yeah. So you can keep talking to your virtual to, reality to you, friend while you. <laughs> Be right back. Hey, here、Be、we、right、go.、Back. Have your baby. <laughs> Uh, that's all we have time for right now. If you want to ask me questions about life in China, just please put them in the comments below, and、uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Bye, Zai Jian. Yeah.